welcome back, Johnny Dread TV. As it stands, football is returning and some of the other sports, but I just know about football. Football returns as it stands. Not sure if it will continue after this weekend. Obviously due to the Queen's passing, while there was postponements in the first place, there will probably be further more postponements. But we'll wait and see. For now, football's back. To be honest, I, I would have thought it would have carried on even into this weekend. So, Fergie's is back. People that have missed it can get back to watching it. Obviously, I think there's two games that won't be going on. So, that's unlucky for the fans that support those teams. Or, maybe not unlucky for them, maybe for various reasons. Some say, oh, injuries, we don't mind games being postponed still. For example, the Chelsea, Liverpool. Some say, we just don't mind it being postponed in general due to the Queen and showing their respects and so on. So yeah, football's back. Newcastle will be playing Bournemouth. I'll be doing the next video for that later on. But yeah, football's back and I can't say even though for that short period, I did miss it. Of course I did. But understandably, we all know why it's been postponed. So yeah, now, went a bit quiet because obviously things were happening. But it's been confirmed. Loris Karius, goalkeeper 29, has signed a short-term deal with our beloved Newcastle United. I'm, I'm more happy than others. Some are like, whatever, because I don't think some people really care. Me, smart signing. Obviously due to the injury to Carl Darlow, but just in general. Because when you really check it, would you have Darlow as a number two? Or Lloris? That's debatable. For me, he don't turn shit overnight. You get what I'm saying? Like obviously after what happened to him at Liverpool, that crazy Champions League final and so on, they kind of left him out to dry. Not kind of, they did. They went and got Alisson, loaned him out for two years to Besiktas, I think. Besiktas, Turkish team. Then onto Union. Or the German, the German team. He's a free agent. He's just getting himself fit. Was in no rush to pick no team. As I said, he's 29. He don't turn shit overnight, but obviously something's there. Don't know if he's the same as when he first burst onto the scenes, but we will see. He might get a few chances here or there. He might get no chances. All depends on how Eddie wants to play it. And obviously, Pope keeps fit. But I think it's a good sign, and just in general. Just in general. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm pleased. Very pleased. And I took time out to watch his interview. And, yeah. They, he's obviously not here just to be number two. Obviously, he understands his role, but he's a human being. He's a, he's, a, he's a footballer, so I think it's good that he said in his interview he wants to push Pope and keep it competitive. And that will help Pope as well and keep him on his toes. So, not that anyone's taking his space, his spot, but it keeps it competitive. You know what I'm saying? So, Pope can't get too relaxed. And I believe Loris Plarius Carius will get some games, I believe. Maybe. Depends how long he's here for. Cup runs, etc. So yeah. But I'm happy for him. He's happy to be here. He's looking forward to, to the challenge, he says. And just being around footballers again. Yes, he trains hard by himself, he says. But the fact that he's around players again. He said it was a no-brainer. I think he said he had 10 minutes to make his mind up. He said it was a no-brainer. He liked what Eddie's doing. He likes where Newcastle are going, the project. He wants to be a part of it. Even, even if it is for this a short-term deal, he wants to be part of it. And you never know what the future may hold. It might be a long-term deal. We see how it goes. We see 
take each day as it comes. So yeah, plus it's a Premier League team. He said he wants to come back to the Premier League. Maybe in his head he's got some unfinished business. Not that he'll get a major chance to rectify that. But he's still in the Premier League and anything can happen. There's a reason why we brought him in. God forbid touch wood. Nick Pope doesn't get injured. But that's why he's here. If anything happens to Pope, he's going to have to go into that number one spot. And make the most of it. So, it'd be interesting to hear you guys' thoughts. Or leave a comment. Just let me know what you think. Are you bothered? Are you rating it? Is it a, are you not really so bothered about, oh, if he's a good keeper or not, it's just another body or a decent keeper? Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts because what I've heard so far is kind of mixed. So, yeah. Football returns. We've got Norris Carriers in on a short term deal. Let's go. Jordy Joe TV. I appreciate all the subscribers slowly going up. The likes, the views, etc. So I appreciate it. Peace.